Today I'm talking about an advanced topic. Yes, I've been trying to address slots enthusiasts like you that have found me very recently because you've had some slots experiences you don't understand and Googled it to find my videos, website posts, podcast episodes. So I hope you don't mind that I'm about to throw you into the deep end of the pool, figuratively speaking. If you've taken my online course, you know about my slots gambling strategies. You also know what happens naturally after learning them. You can't help but start combining them for better results. This is the advantage of learning from a course process that helps you get better at slots. In my book, Learning to Win, I talk about combining strategies. In it, I had only seven strategies instead of the 10 I have now. I remember considering writing about only those strategies that combined well, but because I'm on my own slots journey, just like you, I instead decided to be thorough and also mention that um, uh, those <laughs> distractions from cats. Uh, uh, but I, um, uh, I remember considering writing about only those strategies that combine well, but instead I um, uh, decided to be thorough and also mention those that were in direct opposition to one another, that were mutually exclusive. This, uh, so if you go to, uh, let me share with you uh, my, my website, professorslots.com, and you can go to a, a page that I have made called professorslots.com uh, slash forms. Uh, this is for people who read my book, but um, listen to my book through the audio program, the audio recording, eight hours, uh, and they don't have access to the tables. And so I made this table available to everybody under professorslots.com slash forms. Okay. So this is the strategies and the names I had for the strategies. I've, I'm, I'm, I look at these names for the strategies, and I'm so much better at marketing. I still have a long way to go, but <laughs> uh, I had this long name for strategy one. Win immediately at a slot machine, then nothing. A cheap way to win. Now I call it the five pull method. <laughs> or five, excuse me, that's the old one. Five uh, spin method. And so, yes, there's advantages and disadvantages to each. I know this is very small. If you're looking at a phone or an iPad, it's hard to read, but it is professorslots.com slash forms, and you can always find it there. But I made a thorough uh, check of all the strategies that I had there, all seven that I was using at the time. And, uh, uh, you know, it shows combinations that work well together. Uh, uh, in, in my book, I called these co combinations powerful, then strong for good strategies, then medium and minor for weaker combos. For the seven strategies I discussed in the book, there are six powerful strategies, powerful combinations, eight strong combinations, six medium combinations, and four minor combinations. Uh, it's years late, but these things, and tell me what you think of this, but these days I think I should have named them Grand, Major, Minor, Mini, <laughs> you know, after Progressive Jackpot, so you knew what value each one had. Combining these strategies is, is a thing that, that happens. Uh, um, just because you're new to my content doesn't mean you can't do this when choosing which slot machines to play. But maybe it would help if I gave you an inflatable arm floaty before throwing you into the pool. Yes. So let's go over combining my five spin strategy with other strategies. Oh, and some of what I'll be talking about won't be in the book because my latest strategies aren't in the book. Further analysis revealed them after I wrote the book. Uh, these are implied in the book, but not explicitly stated. So, but first, let me acknowledge a few donations as well as check in with the live stream, uh, live chat uh, to briefly say hello. So, uh, first off, uh, let me <laughs> um, switch back and Magpie11, thank you so much for your donation. 
it is very much appreciated. Uh, um, uh, this is a super chat, which is available at the bottom of the chat window if you're here live. Um, and uh, the little dollar sign where you can uh, go through this and donate. Uh, it can be a little rough if you haven't um, set up a, pay, a, a card, a way to pay, uh, but that is possible to do that there. Or if you're watching this later, which most people do, you can go to professorslots.com slash donate. Um, you know, I, I got an email message, a, a YouTube comment uh, from, and I won't look it up, but uh, should have had that ready. But people, last night, uh, people were contacting me uh, from Mandalay Bay on one of my videos and said, we're all doing it. We're all here tonight. We're all winning. Thank you so much for your uh, most recent video, the one I had on um, combining strategy one and strategy seven, uh, win, walk away, return later. And they're just like, or was it location, location? The details of the comment are available, but uh, uh, on YouTube, but uh, they were all just like, we're all winning. Thanks a lot. And I'm grateful and I'm happy. Uh, <laughs> what a $20 tip kill you? But, <laughs> but letting that go, letting that go. Uh, and also thank you for Chuck, who has also offered a, um, a super chat. He says, uh, morning all. And uh, Chuck is a regular donator uh, and a very much uh, not only of his blood, but of his money to the show, uh, not his blood to the show. Anyway, I'm getting caught up in this. Um, uh, thank you so much, uh, both Magpie 11 and uh, Chuck for your donations. It is very much appreciated. Um, uh, so, um, right, uh, let's see here. And I have a couple of questions already. I wanted to take them now. Uh, so we uh, last week we talked about uh, players' club cards and some of the ins and outs of that. We have a, a few questions from last time, so I'll quickly go over those. Uh, Union Betty, that's uh, a two-part question. Uh, good morning. My question this morning has to do with promotions. I noticed that at the casinos we frequent, my wife and I have the same card level, but consistently we get... Um, when we get flyers, and part two, um, that our free play is higher than mine. I'm happy uh, um, get, to, to get free play, but why the difference between husband and wife? And there's a follow-up question um, people are asking. Uh, yeah, why is that? It's the same thing with my wife and I uh, from Wes. Uh, good question. I noticed the same thing with my wife. Uh, and then there's uh, a related question. Um, these are all kind of coming at once. Uh, and they were talking, uh, as if you're in the live chat, it's not available after the show. It's only available during the show. So these, it's, it's half the content seems like it's in the, the live chat. But um, uh, some Tina says that uh, sort of have the same problem, differences. I go all the time. My husband goes maybe once or twice a year. Yet the flyers that Casino send him are better perks than they send me. Okay. So how this works is it's complicated. Uh, it's involved. It's, it's a program. Okay. Let's uh, take a step back and talk about you going to the grocery store and you have a grocery store card on your keychain, perhaps, or on an app on your phone. And you use it when you buy your groceries. Well, they know a record of what you like to buy. So if they have uh, um, a discount on something that you buy, they will offer it up in various ways. Okay. A lot of people don't fill out the home address part of that. They go on, they don't go online and register it. But what you can do is there's other printers besides the receipt printer at the checkout and they'll spit out a coupon or something that maybe next time you would use that. This is all part of that system. Well, you can imagine the casino player's card being something like that. Well, the grocery store says, we've got some fruit that's going to expire. Or we have some cans of food that are going to expire and we have you know, we want to get rid of that inventory before we uh, to sell that inventory before we lose, you know, throw it away or return it. And so they would offer a discount 
on some things which were getting close to the expiration date um, and, you know, be it bread, be it whatever. And this kind of concept you could look at from the point of players club cards. Uh, if you go all the time to the casino and your husband doesn't go to the casino very often, once or twice a year, who does a casino want to get to the, who does a casino want to get there more often? Who has money to spend? If you're coming there every day, what are they going to do? Ask you to come every twice a day? You know, that's harder and they recognize it's harder, but if they can get somebody who comes three, four times a year to come three, four times a month, then that's worth giving them bigger bonuses, bigger comps. And so they're trying to get more money and they feel the second person can get more money. Now, when it's not that big of a difference, if you and your wife uh, or uh, your, your husband, your spouse go to the casino together all the time, or your play habits are different. Um, you know, I've been, I was at Fire Keepers. I was at MGM Grand, the last couple of casinos. It was the last two. No, it was the last two of the last three. I also went to um, uh, Hard Rock Cincinnati in between. I didn't report on that. Uh, it's just an old favorite um, and local, but uh, just checking it out. But uh, at MGM Grand and at, um, uh, uh, fire keepers, they started talking to me about, I was asking questions about the players club and they were talking to me about just how, you know, how many points I asked, how many points do they get? Well, if you stay at the hotel, you know, you get bonuses. And if you spend a lot of money, you, of course you get that. But, but if you move around to a lot of machines, then there's like a formula for how often do you move and, uh, how much do you space to play? So let's just call all this player habits. Player habits have a different result, and the casino prefers some over others. And it might be that they feel this behavior could be different in which they would, someone would play more. And so they would, you know, promote that to, to, to try to get people to, to um, come in more often, give them some rewards. And they're trying to change behavior taking somebody who goes once through you know three four times a year and trying to change that to three four times a month you know that's obvious but if they're trying to you know change your way of playing slot machines they're trying to do it in such a way that it's better for them uh you know maybe you stick with your with the same machines and maybe um, i know that's the case for some of you uh, and, and girlfriends, spouses will um, uh, have a different behavior. And the casino looks at that and says, we want to try to push it towards this behavior because we make more money with this other behavior. Too much time spent walking, not enough time spent sitting, right? When you go from machine to machine. Uh, so they've been, t uh, the casinos have been telling me about this and they're, that they talk about a formula and, and all of that. So this is, this is about, about comps. And, um, do I know, yeah, I don't have the data. I don't have the data to know what kind of behavior works better. I suspect that if you sit at a machine and just spend money, that's more likely to, uh, uh, be happy, make the casino happier because odds are it's a losing machine because they primarily <laughs> we have we have um, uh, a spammer again in the and the um, I, I was so happy to see uh, the spammer that is currently active is uh, was unavailable the last couple of weeks. Um, it's because YouTube uh, shut down access to Russia. <laughs> Because I had investigated this spammer that you may not be able to see. Thank you, Paula, for taking care of it. Uh, and it's mostly um, uh, Russian-based uh, hackers uh, trying to get, um, trying to trying to hack you, or whatever they're promoting. And it's like Triple um, X is is not what actually they're promoting. It's actually trying to hack you.
uh, if you, um, you know, click their links and go there and all that. Uh, so it's a business, <laughs> but apparently it's a Russia business. And now they found a workaround for it because they were gone for the last couple of weeks. That was awesome. Thank you, Paula. Everybody thank Paula. <laughs> her sister at the wedding called her my guard dog, but I don't know if that's necessarily nice of, of her sister. <laughs> Um, so I uh, answered that question and let's get back. Uh, um, uh, so we'll, I'll check on more questions uh, in, in a moment. I uh, wouldn't want to use them all up. So, right, where are we at? Good. Um, uh, so thank you again for the donations. Uh, very much appreciate it. I think I uh, caught all of them. Yes, I uh, think so. Yes, okay, good. I want to make sure I do recognize everybody. Hey, kitty. Okay, um, that was excellent. So consider taking my online course for improving your slots play. 30 days to play slots smarter and win. With it, you'll get lifetime access, a free copy of my book, Learning to Win, and spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping for income tax preparation purposes, something maybe you're thinking about, uh, and gameplay analysis. You'll also get a one-month free membership to my Slots Enthusiast Growth Network, where you'll get community support and accountability. 30 days to play slots smarter and win is discounted at 50% off. Uh, let me show you the website for that. That is the website. And uh, if you go to the purchase page, uh, that is where it is. So uh, professorslots.com slash 30 days. Uh, it, it's, um, you know, to 30 <laughs> professorslots.com 30 uh, slash 30 days to learn more about this well-received course including um, a full description of its contents as well as testimonials uh, i'll slide down here and i'll show you the course curriculum you can expand each of these uh, to see what each day holds and what the topic is of that day and so uh, to you know help you get grounded and help you uh, look at these individual strategies so Combining the strategies uh, is something we're talking about today. Uh, I also put this link into the video description, but let's get back to combining my five spin uh, slot strategies. Oops, I wanna make sure I recognize, uh, recognize, and where are you? You are here. Thank you, Russell. Uh, very much appreciate your donation. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, so, uh, okay. <laughs> um, and maintenance, yep, need three hands here. Okay, so, uh, oh, by the way, if you are on Professor Slots Enthusiasts uh, on the Facebook group, uh, private Facebook group, um, you know, if all of you, please like this video. Uh, if you can share it, if you're on YouTube watching this, please share it. Uh, if you're on Facebook, it can't be shared uh, anywhere other than uh, uh, John Friedel, Professor Slots, because that's a public page. And I'm sharing it to, I think, five other um, uh, groups, which are private. Uh, and this is to protect you, so only people who are members can see what you post about your winnings. I wouldn't want your spouse to know if you didn't want your spouse to know or your family and and all the others so i made that private years a year and a half ago when i set all these uh, state by state facebook groups up as well as my main professor slots enthusiasts eighteen thousand members uh so uh if you have a comment i will check for it later but um i'm trying to see if all this technology works to send it to five facebook groups and one facebook page and see if i can get on facebook watch uh and then of course youtube so next time, if this all works out, I'll add another five and I'll add another five. And maybe at some point I'll have my 57 groups and the 58th uh, Facebook page. And we'll see how my technology uh, use that, uh, uh, supports that. Uh, and um, uh, got in before the uh... Sun Barker. Uh, uh, is your name a uh, super sticker of 
saying woot, uh, which we can't see on the screen, but I can see in the uh, chat. Uh, thank you so much for the $20 dono donation. It is very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, right. So because of my book, because of my book, Winning to Win, um, also comes in audio format. Uh, these forms are available that I was I was I was showing you. So let's take a little look at that. I know that um, it's unfortunate how small this is, uh, and um, I think I had a cameo of my cat visiting, <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll move that aside. Um, if I were to zoom in here, let's see if I can do that uh, to help people who are on small screens. Boom, 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 boom. That's a little bit. All right. So there's uh, the strategies are above here, one through seven, which I use then. And uh, then there's these bolded, powerful stratagems. And there's these italicized, strong stratagems uh, and these are the ones that combine well uh, and then i have others like the mediums and the minors up here and that others are you know just obliterate uh, anything else uh, th th that if you have like strategy one and then two is progressive uh, two is uh what is that is that comps or progressive two is comp is progressives three is comps and strategy one is just wipes those two out, uh, and so it doesn't it 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 it's dominant as I put it. So these are all details you can find in the book or on the web page, uh, and check each one. There are uh, many of the powerful ones, and that's what I wanted to go over today. Those that basically combine well with my first strategy, um, the the five spin method. So we'll focus on talking about that because that's where um, that's about what we have time for. So let's go through that. Um, so uh, yes, I uh, talked about. Um, so you know, let's get started in a easy way. Um, you know, before I uh, throw you in the deep end of a backyard pool while wearing your arm floaties, um, let, let's, you know, what combines well with my five spin method? Um, the most powerful of all combinations in my experience has been to combine it with something I only mention in strategy six. Uh, this is the strategy six is the, the um, three uh, high limit tricks uh, that I, I, I talk about. And one of them is a way to use the five spin strategy. Uh, and basically, you know, just to take it easy on you, not to throw you in the deep end of the pool right away, play a slot machine showing a win. This, that's it. That's the combination. Make five bets on a slot machine showing a win. Playing a slot machine showing a win is something most slots enthusiasts think is the wrong thing to do. They think, well, it's given out its jackpot, and now it's going to be a long time before that happens again. That's not what I think. Yes, it could have been a lightning strike, a fully luck-based win, but it was. It also could have been a winning machine, right? It won. Maybe it was the first of several. Maybe it's not done yet. So make five bets and see if you win anything. To continue with the pool, the pool metaphor, this is kiddie pool stuff. And yes, you've had questions about if playing idle machines is a strategy. I'm working on a video on that topic for you. I hope to publish it soon. Um, last month, you know, basically, uh, thank you for the support for the donations. Um, <laughs> wow, uh, Paula's like doing her job today. I really have to give her like a 50% raise. How much do we pay you now? Uh, nothing? <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so um, it's very distracting. I guess that's the point. Uh, so, you know, kitty pool stuff is to play idle slot machines. Um, I'm currently working on. Uh, uh, one of a video for that last month i uploaded 15 public videos on youtube um, it wasn't every other day I, I went like seven ten days in a row and and then a few others during the month uh this month i've challenged myself to produce twice as many 
one video a day and that's so many uh that, that's there, there's just so many things to talk about so please wish me luck but um you know let's uh, so we talked about uh, making five bets on a machine showing a win because it could also be not just one win but many wins and lots of slots enthusiasts is what the video will be about uh, later will be about which is uh, lots of slots enthusiasts say oh no i'm not gonna play that and so it just sits there for days uh, i've watched them play for days and i've uh well well, I'll talk about that in another video. Let's keep going. So let's uh, jump into a bigger pool. Uh, not too much bigger, not yet. How about a above ground pool, right? Doesn't even have uh, a way to launch yourself. Uh, it's it's all um, uh, no deep end. Uh, but you better have your inflatable floaties for that. Um, consider my strategy location, location, location combined with my five spin approach, my five spin method. Uh, you've heard me, I just want to make sure you've heard me talk about this in another video. Um, I had included it as a bonus to my five spin method. One of the um, uh, videos that I did on that was a follow-up video where I talked about this. Um, if your casino doesn't give you a break-even or better return when using my five spin method, there is a way to improve your return. As it happened with me at Soaring Eagle in Michigan on Mother's Day last year, uh, you know, that's what happened to me. Uh, but do what Paula did right after me and only play end of row slot machines. Me, I just played random slot machines and 20 of them and I got a certain result and it was less than I'd spent. And so I didn't have a positive return. But then Paula did it. She had been, it's a quite a drive from a home to, uh, uh, from her home to Soaring Eagle. And we had a chance to talk. And apparently she listened. <laughs> Sorry, Paula. Uh, apparently she listened. And um, it was also the first time that she'd been to a casino. And uh, she decided to play end of row slot machines while doing the five spin method and she made a profit uh and where i didn't and uh, where i instead just played any available slot machine so making this simple change from playing any old random slot machine with the five spin method to playing end of row machines will increase your return of course your casino has to have the operating system which allows both the five spin method to work and the location 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 strategy to work only if both work separately will combining them work better than either either of them uh, uh, separately. So it, it's more than the sum of the parts. You've heard that before. Again, just to be clear, to combine strategies, you need to know how to perform each strategy alone. That's what the course is for. That's a given. That's, uh, the, the, you know, but the deep end of the pool comes in when combining strategies you know very, very well. So it's simple to only use the five spin method on end of row machines, but location, location, location is more than just end of row machines. It's about highly visible machines. When I was at Firekeepers two weeks ago, there was only there was many highly visible machines. They seem to make a point of it, but only the most visible machines were paying. Uh, put another way, end of row slot machines are sometimes not selective enough again mo how, how machines have been set up this way depends on your casino it might be only slot machines at the edge of the casino floor facing the cafe like at horseshoe indianapolis or it might be at the biggest intersection like at firekeepers uh and uh you know on their facebook page uh, i don't think maybe you remember firekeepers has a facebook page uh, and they showed a $19,000 win. It was like $19,990 some uh, dollars. It was a $2.50 bet and it's a cash burst machine, one of three machines in a row of the same game theme. And these are the ones that I was placing uh, uh, at the biggest intersection in Firekeepers. Uh, on, uh, they were facing um, uh, a carousel of, uh, uh, what is it, Buffalo Beast. 
and a couple of those were facing towards these machines and that whole intersection was just a hotbed um, and so there's more to location 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 than end of row slot machines and that's my point uh, the machine um, had that nineteen thousand dollar win five days after i was there it was also on the night of a rv giveaway uh, so uh you know it only has to happen how many times before you're pretty happy about it okay so let's talk about combining other strategies with the five spin method uh and lots of questions great and i think i caught uh some things yes good um and so let's talk about the five spin method kind of alone all right it's 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 really strategy uh what is that nine eight uh strategy eight is the casino environment don't play unless you hear others playing uh winning don't play slot machines unless you hear others winning at slot machines because how could how would you know you're it's luck based if you're waiting for lightning to strike just you but if everybody's winning like the other night at mandalay bay <laughs> last night at mandalay bay and they were telling me it was just so exciting when they were contacting me saying we're all winning here thanks a lot 20 dollar donation just you know, professorslots.com donate um anyway <laughs> uh um uh anyway uh the five spin method in the casino environment is a way for you to assess how it's going. I'm going to thank uh, magpie 11 for pointing out this way of using uh, the, the, the five spin method. Um, sure. Maybe you've used it already. Your, your casino, maybe you know that the five spin method works, but if you want to assess whether it works today or tomorrow or four o'clock in the morning after a, holiday uh um, what do we have april 17th is easter and memorial day is may 30th you know uh, i'll try to give you a reminder before that happens but uh you know morning after uh, in any case if you want to check to see how the odds are during your visit at the casino whether it's a good time or not sometimes it get it it it's there's nobody there you know there, it's it's three o'clock in the morning four o'clock in the morning and it's quiet because there's nobody there and it might be the best time to play but you don't have the people there to listen for their wins in order to assess the casino to see if you should play um, now on the other hand uh, at the busiest times at a casino hard rock tampa it's almost every time except like one night at three o'clock in the morning tuesdays uh, you know it's busy 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 and you don't need to do this there because you can hear the change you can watch the slot uh enthusi the slot attendants run to the different machines and you can see when they're busy uh it couldn't get any louder um uh, so this is really for when the machine the casino is half occupied where there's still machines that you can uh, play a lot of them uh and that's how uh, fire keepers was it was almost half the machines filled on a friday night but it was heavy raining anyway use the five spin method on 20 machines 50 machines and see if it's a good time to play see if the casino is giving out wins Minimum bets, all right? This is the test procedure for five spin method. Not maximum bets, not the high limit room. Minimum bets, 50 cent bet, 88 cent bet, 90 cent bet, whatever the minimum is on the minimum denomination machine and play a bunch of them and get an idea of whether it's worth your time to spend more than that $100 that you're spending. Possibly $200. It depends what your budget is um, and how many machines you play. But play 20 machines and see if it's a good time to play this is a tool the five spin method is you know you're not checking to see if they have it because you've long since done that you're there to see if you know you're gonna go home or if you're going to say aha i'm going to stay uh, and so this is a method uh, a strategy of combining uh, strategies uh, for you. And one of them is the five spin method and the other one is the casino environment. Um, now there's also, <coughs> um, I think it was uh, before the show started, 
um, there was right a comment, the comment right on um, uh, YouTube about, uh, and I, I answered it, but I also want to answer it here, which is, okay, uh, do the five spin method. They found some success at uh, four to 6 a.m. in the morning, but they were considering really what's the best mornings you know is it every morning is one morning of better than another morning where should you know which which morning should i go and i pointed out that i have videos about the um and isaac has joined the the show uh he barked uh, uh my dog uh at, so the best time to go in the morning is the morning after a big promotional event the morning after a holiday uh, this is when the casino is crowded. There are failed events. There are failed promotional events. There's holidays where nobody goes. Uh, I don't mean those. I mean something that is crowded. And then they go to the morning after between four and six. It's like stops at six, starts at four, uh, uh, four 3.30-ish. Um, but, you know, over by seven, maybe 6.30. And if you just play 20 minutes during that time period or the whole thing, uh, it can be very successful for you. This is a, this is two of my strategies, depending on what event was taking place the day before. Holidays are something that's national. Promotions, uh, RV giveaway like at Firekeepers, that's the day before at that casino. Uh, some casinos like Hard Rock Tampa, it's like every night they have something because that's how busy they are or every Friday. Uh, is on uh, medium-sized casinos. So again, Easter is April 17th. Memorial Day is May 30th. That's holidays, national holidays. If you go the next morning, let me know. If you, uh, if you uh, re remind yourself to come back to this video or just send me an email, I'd like to hear about your successes. Uh, but if it's a pr crowded promotion, they could be last night but it's already too late today to go because it's past 6 a.m. Uh, but is tonight a busy night at your casino? Then tomorrow morning is, is an option. Uh, a lot of casinos are so busy every weekend that it just becomes a regular thing. I used to think that people would not want to come in at 4 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, particularly if they, if they have to drive like half an hour, 45 minutes to their casino. Uh, but it turns out a lot of people are up early. <laughs> And it's not really a problem. Uh, so let's take a look at questions. I have a, uh, more to talk about here, but I want to try to get caught up on, on some of this. Uh, so, okay. Um, let's see. And uh, lots of conversations between people. All right. So Mark. Uh, chill says, does the odds of winning change on the amount you put in the machine? I have found that. I have found that to be true. Uh, now, there's two ways to change the amount you put into, wait. You're not talking about the amount bet. You're talking about the amount you put into the machine. No. No, because uh, what does that even matter? You have a voucher, you you spend twenty dollars, and the voucher has three hundred dollars or whatever. Um, no, it it it. There's no changing the odds depending on how much money you put into the machine because that's how, the best way I know how to explain this is it takes too much thought. Okay, if a casino is going to do something, it has to be automated, and if it's not automated it requires a person and that person has to be paid and if you think about how many people would need to service three thousand slot machines that's a, like a whole room and they could make more money by having a room full of slot machines than they would by people trying to get money from you you know they use that floor space for slot machines uh if it's automated the connection just isn't there uh, some people will talk about how, uh, you know, if they did this, they would improve the casino's performance. But that's that's a misunderstanding. The casino performance isn't known, known until four hours later. So they could get themselves in serious trouble by, you know, being under the legal limit, by 
by uh, you know changing things so much to that they uh, you know hurt their investors and the investors get angry at what happened. Thinking that casinos are only trying to take your money is is short sighted. Uh, as it's as short short sighted as casinos that do that. Um, they're they're already making money. They don't need to do this. They have a financial target, and they don't need to do this in order to be able to get more money. They can do things that are perfectly legal and don't require equipment that's expensive and people that cost money. No. It, I, I see no reason why they would ever want to do that. It's not cost effective to get you. They make $180 million in profit, profit, not revenue, profit, 1.8 billion. And they give 90% back is 180 million profit per month in a medium sized casino in Indiana. Can you hear it? Uh, um, <laughs> my, my dog barking uh, in the background. Uh, and, you know, you're hundred bucks, you're 20 bucks. How does that even compare? So I'm going to move on from here. And I think that's what you were asking. You could have been asking something else, which I think uh, Chuck answered if that was the way you wanted to go. Um, uh, Magpie has, she's on the Las Vegas Strip. She's uh, been at Virgin this week uh, and had some luck there uh, on the five spin and location. Looks like things are picking up after a really uh, hard first couple of months of the new year on the Las Vegas Strip uh, with last night's comments from uh, Mandalay Bay. I thought about they, uh, you know, giving you a call, Magpie, and, and letting you know that they contacted me last night about Mandalay Bay, you might have been able to scoot on over there and see how it was going. Uh, and Leanne says, a, a money management. Okay, I don't see a question. <laughs> was my cat acting up? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, Bella Bella, hello. Uh, and... Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, Paula, your sister does mean well. Uh, just by calling you uh, my guard dog, is uh, I, I understand that. Um, and I, I did at the time. And Sandy says, uh, your slot strategy has won me multiple hand pays in the last two weeks. I have a stack of tax documents now. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> uh, people have asked me, can't you just make me win but under the twelve hundred dollar no sorry <laughs> um let's see uh yes jason uh you're right paul is busy <laughs> uh uh right uh questions 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 uh, been practicing, Amanda says, been practicing your five spin method, hit $4,800 and then $1,250 uh, this week alone. Um, wonderful. But, you know, this is not happening in a vacuum. Uh, anytime in the last three months, how long have I been saying April is going to be great? End of March, you know, uh, two days ago. Uh, it was bad at the first part of the year everywhere. Um, you could have lightning based, you know, lightning, uh, fully luck based lightning strikes. But what we want to do is for the casino to say, okay, now people can win. And so you listen for that or, or you watch for that or you test for that. And that's kind of what we're talking about today's topic. Um, I'm glad that people are now uh, winning uh, and um, just watch out for uh uh, yes, um, uh, Jason, I, 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 I mentioned, uh, uh, you know, th uh, thank you for sharing that win. Uh, and it's more than I knew, uh, at fire keepers, uh, it was the third hit, the third, um, it's 2 dollars and 50 cent bet. It was the third hit, uh, and, um, that won $19,900 and uh, at fire keepers, that was amazing. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, PNT D Black does the uh, does the five spin work on the high limit as well as the regular slots? If it's working, it's working. All right. If the casino has it, the casino has it. If it's at a time when the casino wants people to win, then they do that for the the whole area. So um, you know you need to kind of you know this is this is not this is advanced stuff. You need to find a casino where it works, and you need to go at a time not the first week of the new year, not even the first month of the new year, um, and go and see how, how uh, the, if the casino is paying out. And once it starts to, either by seeing other people win, people are talking about it now, that sort of thing, uh, that's when it works. Uh, otherwise, just keep minimum bets and, and test. And that's what I would suggest. So yes, if it's working, um, you know, don't go to the high limit room. I have I'm right doing another video on a, a different video on that, where you know, why am I so afraid of going to the high limit room? People will say, and I say that is the most natural thing in the world. Your body says danger, danger, and that's why you're afraid to go to the high limit room. And respect that your body's trying to warn you, but there is a way to sort of process what's needed first of all if you don't have the money don't go in if you uh, that you can't comfortably afford to lose but if you want to go easy in the high limit room you can go easy in the high limit room or you just edge in and um, take it easy and don't be excessive on your spending um, and if you watch for that that's 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 the sort of thing that you can do uh, I'll leave it at that. I don't want to talk about all my videos that are coming up. Uh, okay. And uh, comments, comments, comments. Uh, um, so Tina says, none of the strategies seem to work at Choctaw, Megastar, and Windstar in Oklahoma. You need to make sure it's not a bingo competition machine it's not a class two bingo machine because those have a different method it's like um washington slots it's got its own thing and i don't live in washington but i was able to figure it out from a, dis a distance i need to be you know in front of a class two machine and learn what works on that which is you know a lot of things we're talking about here are class three machines uh so so not it not Historic horse racing, HHR machines in Kentucky and other places, not um, uh, Washington slots where the class three machines are based on the scratch ticket lottery system that they have in place for that. Uh, if you're going to do this, stick with non-bingo competition style class two machines. You don't want to play those. You want to play class three and they're mixed. So you have to be able to identify them. Some manufacturers are VGTs. Um, if it's bingo-based competition machines, it usually has a little bingo card uh, display somewhere in lower right, upper left uh, corner. Uh, and I'll come up with a strategy. There's no, none of these are near me, so I need to go um, uh, and, and solve this for people wanting to learn how to win on class two bingo style competition machines. For now, my strategies, uh, the strategies work on class three. And so, uh, don't, don't play those machines. Uh, yes. And, and Tina was, uh, the people are saying that, uh, to, to Tina before I got to it. Um, <laughs> yes, um, I used to have co-hosts as my cats, but, um, two of them passed away last year, uh, and I got two rescue cats, um, and they <laughs> are saboteurs. Uh, they haven't made themselves up to co-hosts yet and may not. Um, okay. Uh, see, I think I answered Linda's question by somebody else asking if it's, um, Oh, right. Uh, so this isn't a high limit thing, but this is uh, one of the other, you know, what we're talking about today, which is the five spin method combined with something else. So I mostly use the five spin method at new to me casinos when I go on my casino reviews, someplace I've never been before. Uh, it's one way to use this and see 
what five spins will give me. Now, as I go through them one by one by one by one, uh, uh, I will come across a machine that, you know, I'm, I'm making a, a $2.50 bet, a $0.90 cent bet, and I just want 120 bucks. And I'm like, okay, 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 okay. I want to continue on this machine. I will pause the test procedure for minimum bets on the five spin method at this new to me casino, take out my money, put, uh, which is basically how I keep track of whether I'm getting a good return on the five spin method, put another hundred dollar bill in to start fresh and evaluate that machine. So it's a way for me to evaluate a machine. This is, this is fairly straightforward. This is, you know, we're back on topic. That's, uh, what I do when I go to a new to me casino, because, you know, if you learn the five spin method, you can go do that, but I'm throwing you in the deep end of the pool and I'm saying, Com combos, combos, combos. <laughs> um, and that's been the case from the beginning. People say, but what if I come across a win using the five spin method? And I talked about, well, oh, you want your cake and eat it too. finish the five spin method, then come back or pause and check that machine. But then, you know, it's the reason you found that machine was the five spin method. So maybe you'll find other machines like that. So you don't want to stop, but pause is a good idea. Um, I was in a crowded casino and I might not be able to get back on that machine. And I thought now's the time to try 10 bets, 20 bets, 50 bets, 100 bets, and see if it's a winning machine. Each one of those points uh, that I mentioned, 10, well, that first win that caused me to stay is in the first 10 bets. And so I usually take it to another 10 bets, uh, up to 20 total bets, and decide, am I winning? As Chuck and I discovered at a riverboat casino when I was in Missouri last year uh, with him, uh, he was like, eh, it's only two bonus rounds. And I'm like, but the other two machines didn't have any. Eh, I would have preferred three bonus rounds. Okay, we'll find one that has three bonus rounds. And so you have to decide for yourself whether it's winning enough machine at 20 to continue. And then I check it again, give it a chance to play at 50. Decide again, am I going to continue or does it seem to be over fluke, luck-based wins, or is it set to win? which is it decide at 50 and then i go to 100 bets which is 50 more bets uh and make a decision uh at that point i'm like i'm staying for a while and then i just try to um you know as we extend into this uh i, I try to say well i haven't really won in the last 10 minutes so now i, I guess it's all over and so I just sort of keep an eye on it. Once I decide, when I, once I get to 100 bets and it won at 10, it won at 20, it won at 50, it won at 100, I'm like, okay, good to go. Uh, and then just watch for it to become a loser and then stop. I hope that is not too fast. Feel free to rewind and listen. Um, spammers, okay. <laughs> Um, uh, Paula comments on the spammers. She says, Jiminy Christmas, dude, give it up. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, uh, okay. Uh, Slot Hunter says, tried high limit, did well first day, not so good second day. So what I was about to talk about, I've got seven minutes left, was using the five spin method and then uh, coming back a week later because there's something about that time that is good it, when you first win and you can use that to come back a week later and do the same thing. So uh, that first day, what day of the week was that? Come back that day of the week, that time, and play through that same time. Obviously, not the, not the next day, but maybe on the third day. You know, So, so follow up on your successes. It would be it would be great if it was like every day, but you know Mondays are different from Tuesdays. Not much, a little bit. Uh, Wednesdays are different from those two. Thursdays are different. Fridays and Saturdays are again very similar, but there are differences. Sundays, you know, nothing until noon because everybody's going to church, and and, and so every day of the week is different. So the first day that you win and you won was because of the crowd, and the second day you 
went and didn't win was because of the crowd. Something's going on where they schedule things for that day. And that day of the week is good to go. Now, uh, if you went yesterday uh, and, you know, or the day before, Yesterday was the first of the month. The day before was the last day of the month. Some people are seeing in their records that, by golly, if I go on the last day of the month, it's great. But if I go on the first day of the month, it's not. And this is kind of like what we saw with January being tough all over, tight all over uh, for for casinos, you know, trying to win at casinos. It's just like that. They, they want to establish themselves for the month and their financial reporting for their monthly financial reporting. Uh, and so they, you know, make the odds low on Monday, on, on uh, first of the first few days of the month, just to have a good start on that month. Same way with the first few months of the year, they have a good year. And they're, or the opposite, or the opposite. I think it's more people, uh, casinos uh, trying to, um, uh, not do the opposite, but to, you know, get themselves ahead on the revenues for the first part of the year, particularly after the craziness of the last part of the year where everybody's going and, um, you know, th and just soaking that up from the people who went for first part of the year because they thought it would be like the last part of the year because they heard such excitement. Uh, and these are all, you know, this is like the player's card that we were talking about. How do we get more money from people? You know, and having cycles, having uh, April, you know, people going on spring break, uh, people, children's getting out of school and, and going on vacation. Everybody goes on vacation. You know, it's a season. The, the last six weeks of the year, maybe a little bit more than that, Thanksgiving through New Year's is, is an awesome time at the casino. Uh, oh, um, and thank you. There's a, uh, Jason for uh, paying it for uh, a tip from uh, Cash Burst Winner. Um, thank you so much uh, for the $50 donation, $49.99. It is uh, helpful, uh, seriously. And so, as some of you, as I've explained on my Thursday night group meetings, exactly how I'm like, okay, how do I make, you know, last uh, a month longer and this and that and the other thing. So there are a lot of questions here. Uh, I kind of... Um, talked about the last of the strategies that I uh, wanted to mention, but to learn more about my 30 days to play slots smarter and win online course currently at 50% off for $100 savings, visit my website at professorslots.com slash 30 days. Then I'll show that to you here. Oops. Uh, there. As well as where you sign up here and you can see the syllabus and all the different days and what the topic is and the course lessons, uh, uh, that there are course lessons and valuable. And, and so, you know, you can watch all my channel, all my videos on my YouTube channel, but it's getting to be quite a lot and it's more all the time. So, uh, this is where it's all structured in order. It's a convenience for you to watch this, this, and this, and this, and, uh, build it up. But of course you can put the extra time in and, uh, uh, get, and just watch my free stuff. Uh, but it's much less organized because YouTube is like that. And not to mention just all the commercials. Somebody was telling me about trying to watch my videos and there's commercials and I'm like, that's how YouTube works. Uh, that's the end of YouTube environment. So professorslots.com slash 30 days. The link is in the video, in the video description, uh, you know, for a complete description, testimonials and the valuable bonuses you'll get free with the course. So um, including spreadsheet templates for slots record keeping for income tax preparation purposes. But as we've been talking about here for gameplay analysis, come back a week later and oh, it's always like the last of the month. So, um, uh, and let me remove that. Uh, so uh, this is where um, you you see that, and it's amazing what you can see when you start recording some of this stuff. Uh, so um, let me see if there's a last few questions. Uh, Irving, yes, please. Uh, how's the niece? Uh, I, I'm sorry if I, I missed your comment. You might have come in late. Uh, and um, and the Mayo Clinic, um, all the best going out to you. Best thoughts, uh, please. I uh, hope that things are well. And maybe at some point I'll be able to talk to you. Uh, um, 
so we were talking about this topic. Some of my ideas for the live stream come up from the Zoom meetings uh, in the Slots Enthusiast Growth Network. And uh, one of those members are here, Rodney, who you may know from my podcast. I've been, I interviewed him. Uh, and he said, hi, John, combined strategies you talked about during social hour hit uh, a $970 uh, major last night, not a hand pay, but I left with all of it. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, people say, can I please win a jackpot under $1,200? And I'm like, okay, I was going to give you more, but <laughs> no, I don't have much control over that, um, but it is uh, great. So now maybe you want to know how to start combining my winning slot strategies. Uh, in uh, how do you want to <laughs> now maybe you want to know how to start combining my winning slot strategies for better results first learn each you can do that uh, in this playlist right here which will become available later uh, from my five spin method through taking advantage of casino promotions and holiday celebrations on the morning after and more so click this playlist right here and I'll see you in the next one thanks everybody talk to you later